Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we have a little bit of a special treat for you. This is the Alibaba phone. Now, we're probably all familiar with Alibaba because uh, we've seen some stuff online that we want to buy. And, well, here in China, they're one of the, well, they're kind of like the Amazon uh, of China, but they're a little more robust because they kind of go B2B in, instead of just B2C like Amazon. So there's a higher level of integration with, um, with the applications and stuff. I'm just going to put this phone down so that I can play a little bit better with it and sh show you a bit of a demo. So this, this operating system here is actually based on, on Linux and they've built the entire thing themselves. And this is actually uh, a Qualcomm chipset handset. So they're working on optimizing the operating system for Qualcomm. Now you can see the reason why that this is really interesting for the China market is, well, there is no Google Marketplace here. So providing a IP-free platform for Android apps to work is extremely important for this market. So this is, the, this is one of the reasons why we're, we're seeing this handset kind of gain some market share here in China. Now instead of, oh yeah, so you can see there's a bunch of stuff that's loaded up there. Now let's go back. Now the cool thing is, is that well, you can see on uh, this phone, which is their previous generation, there's, it's kind of like Android. Right, where you have the menu, the back, the home. But here is another button, which actually means cloud. So this actually pulls up a different screen. So this is actually the Alibaba applications that you can access. And actually there's more Alibaba applications than there are Amazon applications, which is really interesting. Now they've got a slightly different model than Amazon. Um, in a few different ways. So this is like called the Hongbao. So this is like the it's like a gift money. Uh, around most special occasions, you get you know a red envelope full of cash. Now Alibaba has taken this concept and they've done. It's kind of like the lightning deals. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull it up on this phone. Now on the new hands on the Qualcomm handset, you just double tap the search. So here it is. So what this application actually does is it kind of pulls up like the lightning deals and it has the Hongbao money, um, which is around a thousand uh, renminbi. And so then you can take this thousand renminbi that you get gifted and you can combine it with real money to make purchases. So you can see that you can swipe through, deals are coming, let's see, I want to buy some tights. Um, if you notice there, it was 12 Hongbao and I think it was 30... Uh, a 25 uh, real money. So then we can go down and we can say, yeah, let's do it. I want to buy some tights. Oh. I can't really read Chinese, but anyway, so let's presumably say that we went on to buy that. So there's actually a lot of applications here that, uh, that, that go from the B2B and the B2C. And actually looking at this handset and the Alibaba operating system in general, um, the Alipay, which is what you would use to buy these uh, applications, is in the, in the C2C market, it's around 60-60%. In the B2C market, we're just sitting around 35%. So this is actually a very, very robust payment system that we have in place in China. 60% 60, 60 of the market is, is very impressive. So this is on a reference design Qualcomm handset. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the chipset is in here. But uh, it kind of reminds me of a BlackBerry. But anyways, um, they are optimizing the Alibaba handset for the Qualcomm chipset. So hopefully we'll see some interesting graphic stuff in the near future. This is Nicole Scott from Uplink, China, 2011, reporting for Netbook News.